Our next module in this course is population education. We will begin by looking at what it is and what two major aspects of population education will be covered here. When we talk of population, we have to look at it from two perspectives. The first one is, of course, the expanding or the increasing population. Something needs to be done about it. The second thing is, with the expansion of population, what other things are accounted for? There is social issues, there are economic issues, there are lots of other things that come into play, and that is why it is important to consider population in a course on current trends and issues in education. Because with increasing population, we hope our class sizes increase, and unless we can do something about the size of the classroom and the number of students we can accommodate, we will not be able to deal with all the students that come to our schools and our classrooms. Second, this leads to other issues, as I mentioned, social and economic. There are many others, as we will see as the course progresses, and we will need to focus on how these should be dealt with. Simply saying that there will be these issues and these concerns are not enough. What are the solutions? And that is what this module will help us do. Identify the causes and then try and provide solutions. So this is of contemporary concern. Today, education should be seriously focusing and looking at issues of population. The word population over time has had different meanings and different connotations. It has been used to describe things in different scenarios. Initially, it meant different things to different people. As the world has come together thanks to technology, what population signifies has come on a common platform, yet there are differences. In the 16th century in England, it was used as a synonym for devastation, for laying waste, because if you remember the plague and all those things that happened and population dwindled, so population was then looked as devastation because the population size drastically decreased. That's not true today. Today, population means more of an increase, more of an expansion rather than a devastation. But again, if we continue to see population expanding and nothing happening about resources that are needed for the expanding population, then maybe there will be concern and the negativity associated with population may come back into play. As population increases, the resources available must also significantly increase. And we will see as the module progresses how this can happen. Today, most people associate the word population with growth, though depopulation is also significant because as people move from one area to another, and a common migration pattern is from the rural areas to the urban areas. So as the population in the urban areas swell, become larger, the population in the rural areas shrinks. So there is an element of depopulation. It's not a balanced act. So when one area loses, the other area gains. This phenomena continues even today. As people not only move from rural to urban, but move from one country to another, one country suffers depopulation, the other country suffers overpopulation. It all depends on how many people a country is able to handle. And that is the pattern we need to look at. We need to see how many people can just keep going and how many people will be accepted. That needs to be of a concern today. This module, however, is not about population as such, but about an educational process. We want to educate young minds about population. In other words, yes, we will be looking at population control mechanisms, and we will be looking also at mechanisms to help resources build up as population increases in certain areas. So, 
There will be consequences and that is what we want the young minds to be aware of. You want to move? Look at the consequences. You want to stay? Look at the consequences because population imbalance as people move to look at greener pastures in other parts of the world, in other parts of the country even, in other parts of regions, population will be affected.